Hey guys, welcome to another UV Alarm Gaming video, and welcome to Elder Scrolls Online Part 6. Obviously, I was getting raped right after I ended that video, and I was not supposed to be in that place, because that was not part of where I was. I'm only level 4. I shouldn't have been there. No level 4, or no level 4 -er should have seen all that. That's like, literally terrible. But one day, one day, one day in one of these episodes, I will be brave enough and strong enough to go to that land and the Terramia. But until then, we shall just stick to the main land here. So, you know, uh, I guess I have to finish this quest that I never got to finish. So you guys get to see it. I'm sorry you didn't guys get to see the, the, the first part of the quest. It's because my recording was very messed up. I messed up the recording part. And then my audio was all messed up. And I can't really go back in time on this game. So, you'll have to wait. Or, you can't wait, but, like, you'll have to part out the story. I'll tell you a part. Like, all I was doing was getting the poison. Wait, no, no, no. That was, I, I recorded that part. I was getting the, um, damn, hey. I was getting the, what, what do you call it, damn it, I can't think of it, the, uh, I was in that temple that I was supposed to go in, and it didn't work out, because, um, the game, like, glitched, too, it glitched, and then, it, like, my Xbox kind of froze out and then it also froze out the recording program record recording program that i had on so yeah but let's just stick to these lands and follow the story <laughs> i got raped literally by 50 tigers that my friend ninja assassin took me to he, he's like oh i'm gonna turn you into a werewolf well, it turned out he couldn't really turn me into a werewolf, and I got raped by 50 tigers as soon as I ended that video. So, let's just stick to this. Hopefully, we won't get raped by any tigers or anything dangerous. In these lands, because I'm probably level worth for them. Um, let's just hope. Let's just hope. Man, I wish I had like a horse or something. Because this is like really slow. And I, w I don't want to kill that monkey because monkeys are the cutest in this game. See, look, look, that guy can travel. 50 times faster than I can, they hit, than, uh, what I can, so, that's why I fucking hate this part, it's traveling, you know, I can fast travel, but I probably have to discover the places first, where the fuck am I going, it's like, I don't even think I'm supposed to be here, I'm glad you're here. Okay, well, I completed that quest. Oh, it's you. I'm going to... Is there a Wayshire over here? Yeah, I think there is. Okay, so... I'm going to go to this Wayshire, and then I'm going to go to the Boatswoman and travel to the main campaign part where I meet... Or, like, it's kind of the tutorial campaign until I reach level 10, which basically is the icebreaker. So, yeah. Um, soul trap to increase poison arrow, increase to level four. Okay, let's just use the wayshire. Yes, I know how to use the wayshire. Let's go to this fair land. Um, like I played ten levels before I actually started this series. It's so I could get used to it, because it's like a little different RPG game than I've been used to, so that's why. And 
like what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Whoa. What are those dogs? Those dogs are cool. And we're gonna we're we're gonna go to Razendar Razendar? Something like that. I don't know how to pronounce his name properly. So if you guys would like to comment and correct me, constructive criticism, possibility, but you're a faggot, you're dumbass, or any of that. I'm just gonna ignore you in the comments. So let's let's just get to the main part so you guys actually start enjoying this series. <laughs> it's really sugar claws. Is this about the fish? I took what I paid for. Um never mind. What do you want? I want to travel to Kirithi's roost. Canarthi. The inspectors okay. won't be looking for two of us. Uh, then let's travel to Carnarthy's roost. Hurry it up, okay? Keep her going. <laughs> do 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 do. Talk to Razium. Razium Dar. Razim Dar. I think there was a Razium Dar in the original Skyrim. I don't know. I, mean, I don't think I'm 100% sure, but I recognize the name. So your presence won't be questioned. Come, stay by my side. This one saw you fall from thin air. Pop, drop, splash. Raj would have tried for a body, but under the circumstances. Why did you send me the Vulcan Guard? Lead the way. Alright, I don't really think you have to lead the way, do you? Because there's an arrow right here. L literally, that was like 10 feet. He could have just pointed over here and said, Go talk to Commander Karnarth. Karnarth? Karinath? Karinath? I don't know. I really don't know how to pronounce these names. I'm in need of a scout to head to Shattered Shoals. Most of our fleet foundered to the west. But we've had few survivors trickle in from that direction. Damn, what the fuck is wrong with your eyes? They're like demonish. We captured a sea viper spying on the camp. Those pirates never travel alone. Find out if they're around shattered shoals, and if so, what they're doing on this island. Of course, you should assist any shipwreck survivors you find. We must each do our part. Before you head to Shattered Shoals, speak with Eelsil. He just returned from exploring a nearby temple. That wizard claims to know something about everything, so he may have insight on how these sea vipers operate. Okay, well, talk to her, talk to him, talk to him, talk to her. It's just kind of like, go talk to him, go talk to her, go talk to him. When's the real action get to it? But I guess, like, literally, it doesn't really get into the real action until level 10 which is really the icebreaker so Marvelous, isn't it? we'll have to construct a special room for the morning stone when we bring it back to the mages guild i'm sorry did you need something yes the temple of the morning springs is an old khajiit ruin not far from here we excavated the morning stone from one of the chambers as you can see its supply of water appears endless Pirates? In an ancient Khajiit temple? Preposterous! All we saw were the undead warriors that overran our camp. I have no idea. Actually, I have 12 ideas, but they're far less fascinating than the Morning Stone. Probably some sort of ancient curse. It usually is with these things. Arrogant sea elf pirates. To my recollection, they aren't known to raid Kanafi's roost. Oh. And they have a thing for snakes. 
but I'm sure we both have more important matters to attend. Uh, if you'd excuse me. Okay, well, excuse you. Do 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 do. Oops. What am I doing? I'm walking into brick walls. Do 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 do. Gotta talk to Razum. Razum. I still don't have that down. There. See, you fit in, and no one will stop you from walking away. But as this one said, there are opportunities for people that fall from the sky. Il Seal is most impressed with his newest bubble, but the undead are a threat to all of Canarsie's roof. If you want to. You could search the temple of the morning spring, determine how to contain the dead there. Then the locals should see we came here as allies, not conquerors. All right. Anything the else? Told you how the hurricane dashed his fleet into Canarsie's roof. Now the sea fighters are picking at the bones of our ship. Strange, right? You could scout the coast as you come under attack. Prove yourself. Oh, there's far less glamorous work to do on the east coast, at the northern end of the island. Let's meet up there, after you've done what you decide to do. Until then, bright moons guide your steps. Okay, yeah. Uh, the Kashyyyt, uh, like the moons, I think, I think those are the moons that they talk about. They, they, I think they believe in the moons as their god or something like that. Something like that, but it it depends. I, I don't know. I haven't played the game fully, and I'm kind of late on playing it, even though it's been out for like I don't know a month or a month and a half. So sorry, sorry about that. If you don't, if you're not interested, just say so in the comments. If you are, you'd like me to continue the series, just say so in the comments. Oh, there's a beta. I think that's what that was, right? A thunderbug. Hey, you thundering me? So weird. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> scared me, Harold. Scared me. Oh my. Oh, I thought those bumblebees dead on the ground. I got scared. So that's what I want. I want like a, a lion or a tiger or whatever. It's my mount. It would be fantastic. Investigate the undead at the temple. Hello, Gathwin. Please, I need your help. My master's life is in danger. I'm part danger. of the expedition to Eagle Strand. While we explored the Temple of the Morning Springs, the dead began to rise. The others fled, but my master never emerged. Aurelian told me to know when I should ask for help. Well, I'm asking. Two magical wards seal the temple, marked by emblems of a scorpion and a spider. If you can keep the undead away while I disrupt the wards, we'll search for Aurelian together. How about it? I have no doubt Aurelian can protect himself. But if he's trapped inside, we need to get him out. Why were you in a temple? I had little to do after the shipwreck. When the locals mentioned a temple where the fountains never run dry, we leapt at the chance to investigate. Ilsil insisted on leading, of course. Ah. So you've met him. My master calls him Eel Kill. Something about an experiment gone wrong many years ago. The morning stone you saw came from this temple. Eelsil was barely able to remove it before the undead fell upon us. Aurelian thought it could be used to control the weather, perhaps prevent another hurricane. Eelsil disagreed, of course. He insisted on studying it further at Eagle Strand. Okay. Well. That's fantastic. So I shall continue the continue this in the next video. So if you like this video, leave a like and please subscribe. And look in the Twitter or in the Twitter. 
look in the description for my Twitter below and my Facebook. And I'll see you guys in the next video.